Your Excellency President Kagam, Mr. Co-Chair Carlos Slim, Mr. Irene Bokova, Director General of Secretary General of UNESCO, and Dr. Hamdun Tere, Secretary General of ITU. It's a great honor to be with you today, and uh, after such a light video with uh, total messages, I think I'll try to make my mic short, but uh, it's a great honor to be with you today and to get this opportunity to address the Commission, the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. I understand how important this commission is for supporting the access and supporting young people access to broadband. With 1.8 billion young, pers young persons on our planet today, this is the largest generation of young people the world has ever known. They face tremendous challenges, and we can simply not afford to fail the youth of our world today. Secretary General of the United Nations has made working with and for young people one of his top priority areas in, second, in his second term. With that, he made working with and for young people as the way forward for the United Nations. We believe that we need to increase the harmonization of our investments. And we need to further coordinate our efforts to invest in this generation of young people. And we need also to increase investments in youth. One of the most important investments we can make is securing access to broadband and ICTs. As you have heard from Secretary General Dr. Touré, the Bayon 2015 summit, which was organized by the government of Costa Rica, co-organized by ITU, gathered more than 700 young leaders from all over the world. It was an important event packed with activities, interaction, and thoughtful discussions. At the end of the summit, the participants agreed in the declaration. The declaration is a concrete and powerful statement, which includes both important elements for the post-2015 development agenda, as well as it captures some broader trends for youth and ICTs. In the word of the participants, and I quote, old methods and systems are poorly suited to transformed and interconnected communities we live in today, end of quote. The contributors correctly pointed out that youth can act as both beneficiaries and full partners for wider and improved access with your support. Today, today three quarters of our world and our young people around the world lack access to ICT. Three quarters, and if we don't fix this, we are wasting innovative potential in a massive scale. In San Jose, those present identify that key to a new global development agenda is innovation. And whenever we talk about innovation and ICT, it's a nature correlation with young people today. Based on this, they called all member states, civil society, and the private sector to foster innovation so that they can build the future they want. In order of urgency, young people gather in Costa Rica, draw up a list of priorities. I will not go through all this list, it's available online, but some of the most important ones include the followings. Create open data, information, and technical knowledge in all areas critical to their lives. Provide the training and resources young people need to innovate and create businesses and industries of the future. Ensuring new and innovative methods that lower barriers to youth employment and decent, rewarding, and fulfilling work. Ensure that all students have access to ICT skills and technologies, and that their intellectual, economic, and political empowerment is secured. I'm grateful for the government of Costa Rica and for ITU and for your commission today for having supported and organized this global event. And I sincerely hope that in line with what young people gathered in Costa Rica have come up with, we will treat the declaration not as an outcome document, but also as a starting point for continued dialogue. A wise man once said, our major obligation is not to mistake slogans for solutions, end of quote. And to arrive at real solutions, we need to have conversations. Thanks to broadband access and modern ICTs, young people today, who otherwise would be voiceless, will have a chance to make their voice here. 
It's our time for all of us to join forces to invest in this young generation of young people. And just with two numbers, I'll leave you. The first, half of the world population under 25 years old. And the second, this half of the world population, 87% of them are coming from developing countries. This is a call for action for all of us. I thank you very much for your support and commitment. Thank you. Thank you.